glad you came. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Sayasmi Gupta and I am 10 years old. I am the co-founder at TennisSolarKids.com. So today we are going to learn how to do NumPy Array Slicing. So without any delay, let's get started. But first, let's go through the intro. that intro let's get ready started so let me just minimize the screen oh wait yeah so I'll minimize the screen good and I'll keep you guys here okay yeah NumPy Array Slicing Slicing Arrays Slicing in Python means taking elements from one given index to another given index. Okay, so we pass a slice index of index like this. Okay, so when we need to uh, slice um, instead uh, slice index, we uh, do like this. Okay, first we have to give the start and then the end. We can also define the step like this. So to define the step, we will at the end even add the step. So if we don't pass start, it considers at zero. Basically, if we don't give start, so basically it considers just the starting of the array. Basically zero um, index. Okay. So if we don't pass end, it considers the length of the array in dimension. So if we don't pass the length, uh, then I mean uh, uh, end. So it got it. Um, it takes the whole like uh, at till the end, the um, till the end, and uh, yeah. And if we don't pass step, it considers one. And if we don't just pass this step, so it considers one. There's a lot of background noise over there. So I'm just going to say um, them. Okay, just coming in a second. All right, I am back. Just give me a second. Okay. So yeah, um, if you didn't understand it, it's okay because we are going to understand the same thing using examples. So the first example, okay, before we start, I'll drink water so that I don't drink in between. Very nice. So we do import numpy as np. Then we do array is equal to np dot array one two three four five six seven. So basically, there is an array in which there are seven elements, which are these number one two three four five six seven. Now we have done print array one five. So one basically means we had a first learn array indexing. So one means basically the second element of the array. So basically from the second element to of the array till the fifth hmm basically if we mean the fifth index so basically it means the sixth element okay so when we do one two five the starting index is always included so the starting index is one so on index one we have two so this is always included basically it comes always on the screen and the last um, is not included basically this is the last now so it will not show up on the screen and it does it is just not included so here we get two three four five right okay no the result includes the starting get index basically we get this index start index uh, but we but excludes the end index but it doesn't get this six right so let's see another example all 
Okay, so we have done import numpy at np, then we are making an arr object, then we are doing np.array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we do print array 4, and then we don't give end. So basically, what this means is from the fourth index, which is the fourth index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the fourth index, and then we have not given the end. So basically, from the fourth index till the whole whole array to the whole array. So when we have done this, so we haven't given the end uh, end index. So basically, it gets the whole array. So it uh, so basically from here it gets the whole array as we have not given the end, so it's not exploding or anything, right? So 4 basically means this element 5, so then it's gonna go its way 5, 6, 7, and here the um, uh, array ends, so we are not getting anything ahead. Okay, let's see another example. Okay, we do import numpy np, made an arr object, and made an uh, array. Then we do array, and we don't go give anything of starting, and then we just give 4, like basically the end. So basically, if we don't give anything on the start, it means that it is gonna start, um, the start is basically just from the starting of the array. So it's gonna start from the uh, the most I'm sorry uh, the most starting of the array and then we have given four so so which is the fourth indexes element zero one two three four so yeah it comes till here um um from here to here but as you know five the end is not included so it's going to just get 1, 2, 3, 4. See? Easy enough. I hope you are able to understand this because we have done this in Python array slicing before. Okay. Negative slicing. Use the minus operator to refer to an index from the end. Okay. Let's just get to the example. Okay. Do you remember the negative indexing? Are you kidding me? You don't remember it? Okay, go watch my video. It is just um, uh, before this I made this, that video. and But still, I'm going to tell you. So, the negative indexing is basically, if we give minus 1, we get the uh, most last element of the array. Minus 2, second last element of the array. Minus 3, third last element of the array. And so on. So let's see this example. We did import numpy as np, then we did array is equals to np dot array and made an array of numbers. Then we do print array minus three and minus one. So basically, from minus three, it's gonna go to the third last in uh, uh, index, so which is five. Okay, so for basically the Slicing starts from 5 and minus 1. So we do minus 1 so we get our array till here. But as you know, I'm repeating this again and again. The last, this and index uh, which you give, it is not included. So we only get 5 and 6. Great. So let's move on. Now step. Here comes the best and the final most part. Yeah, kind of. So here, let's see an example. So basically, what is step? Step is like, I, I will have to tell you from the example only. So we do import numpy as np. Then we do array is equal to np dot array and we make an array of numbers, right? Then we do print array 1 to 5. So basically, we get our... Uh, what do you call that? Yeah, array. From 1, I mean, sorry, this is the index 1 to 5, which is 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five. Yeah, till here. Right, but as you know that the last element is not included. So basically take from here to here. Okay, then we do step as two. So basically this means is take, uh, if we have given two, so it's going to take the first two elements. Okay, then it takes the four, um, from the first two elements, um, it's going to take the first element and um, not take the second element then take the um, uh, um, next uh, two elements so it takes the first one and doesn't take the next so yeah when we do two three four five till here our array ends basically we have slice this part and this part of the array right so we have two three four five so now when we use step we have got two and four pretty easy enough okay so now let's see this so we do import number as np then we do array is equal to np dot array and we give the array which has a lot of numbers then we do print array this this and two so this got a lot more complicated for you. I know I didn't understand this too at the first when I was learning. So what this means is that we haven't given the start. So it's gonna take from the starting. It's gonna make the start from the most starting element. And we haven't even given the end. So it's gonna basically take the whole array. Okay. And then we have given two, so here it starts to do the step thing. So first it takes the first two numbers of the array. Here it takes the first and doesn't um, include the second. Then it takes the next two elements, takes the first, doesn't take the second. Then takes um, um, the next two elements, so take the first and doesn't take the second but here we have seven and not eight so it's just gonna take seven right and basically means that it is the first number and not the second okay so slicing to the arrays example so let's see this example okay so now we're going to do slicing in which they are two, which this is two d arrays right let's see we have done import numpy as np then we made an arr object and we made a two dimensional array then we do one array one so basically this means this is the zero zeroth array and this is the first array so basically as we have given one it basically goes in this array then it is one two four so the first index is this so basically it starts from here and four is fourth index is here but actually it doesn't uh, include the end one so basically we we get this array till here so yeah now we get the uh, get this output seven eight nine pretty ne easy enough so now let's see this another example so we do zero uh, uh, made an array and everything let's just go to the print statement so uh, so we do zero two so basically basically it is zero and one so basically it gets both the arrays okay so first it goes in this array the first array right so and it sees two so basically in this array the element which is on the index two so it finds three it gets three now it goes in the second array now here which number is on index two eight it is so it's gonna get eight so we get three and eight okay another example coming right up 
so here we have import number as np and we have the same two dimensional array then we do 0 to 2 basically we select both the these what do you call that what do you call that yeah arrays so for it first goes in this array and it sees 1 to 4 so the element which is on the first index it is 2 so it's gonna get 2 and um, 4 basically uh, um, the element which is on the fourth index is 5 so you know it doesn't include the last uh, uh, the end which end, um, uh, end number which you gave here so uh, basically we get 2 3 4 right and then it goes in the second array and then does the same so it gets um, on the first index we have 7 and till 1 to 4 so basically 10 right we get 10 um, but as the end is not included we get 7 8 9 so then it shows up the output pretty easy enough now let's get to the exercises so first exercise um, and so the correct sizing syntax to print the following selection of the array everything from including the second item so basically second item it means it wants to get the second item so the second item has the first index then we do not including the fifth item so it it doesn't want the fifth item so the fifth item has the index 4 and now we close this. Correct my friends. Now we do insert the correct slicing syntax to print the following selection of the array. Everything from including the third item. Third item basically the second index. Um, to not including the fifth item. So we know what the uh, fifth item's index is. It is 4 and now we close this. Submit answer and this is also correct. Great guys, you are doing great. Now we do insert the correct slicing syntax to print the following selection of the array. Every other item from including the second item, it wants the second item which has the index 1 to not including the fifth item which has the index 4 and it wants the every other item. So the tip is given use the step syntax so as it wants the every other item so we're gonna give two yeah correct my friends now insert the correct slicing syntax to print the following selection of the array every other item from the entire array so we want the entire array and then the every other item so what we are going to do is oops we are going to do this and this remember from this it gets the first element and till the last element and we get the whole array and as we want the every other item from the entire array we are gonna give the step number as two and then close this and submit answer this is also correct and guys we are done with numpy array slicing and yeah i really hope you liked my video if you did don't forget to smash the like button share this video comment down below if you like it and subscribe my channel if you have not done yet thank you guys bye stay safe stay healthy and keep watching my videos damn three two three two one